Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the uh, Tomb Review YouTube channel on a Friday night here as we are preparing for Leicester City away on Sunday. Um, a few rumours going around that uh, it, it still might be called off, but uh, we're just going ahead as normal and just pre previewing the game, um, and then we, we see what happens. But hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed, uh, it'll still go ahead. No, I want fingers crossed that it's going to be called off, mate. <laughs> yeah, I, I know that. I know you you have different reasons for that, Chris. Uh, Chris, welcome uh, welcome back to the channel, mate. Uh, uh, obviously, back. been on before. Um, and, uh, you know, Leicester at the moment, uh, going slightly backwards. Newcastle finally win a game. Um, Newcastle fans are fancying it a little bit. But, um, I mean, I've what's going that. wrong? What's going wrong, Chris? Do you know what? I... I... I don't necessarily think things... I think we're just settling down after a couple of good seasons when we were possibly punching over our weight. Yeah. You know, and you know, the last few seasons, you've had so the big four. Um, you've now got Arsenal coming back into it. You've got Chelsea coming back... Um, sorry, Spurs coming back in with a decent manager now. Then you've got the likes of West Ham uh, having a good season. So there's more of us battling mm -hmm. for the... Um, you know that 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 you know, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh position yeah, yeah. for Europe, and I think as well, it's a funny season. You know, as bad a season as we're having, I think we're only five points off, you know, fifth place or something like that. Yeah, yeah it's it, crazy. It's, it's it, a shame it, at the bottom end because we're looking up yeah. and thinking, "Oh God, we're in trouble." But there's only uh, there's a, just a few points between sort of Newcastle United and eleventh, so yeah. it's not it, it's not all bad. Uh, Dave. Um, We've got a comment here, which is basically for, um, from Nigel. It says, did you guys read the Leicester City website comments? 70% think we will win. Uh, very, very nice of them. <laughs> yeah, and apparently uh, people are turning on Brendan Rodgers. Is, that can't I, be right. You know, I, no, I mean, I was I was watching NUFC matters before and uh, Ben Jacobs is on and he was rightly saying, you know, the, the players love him. They love what he's doing. I think even the high rock at the club think he's doing a good job and he is he's a, he's a cracking manager cracking bloke i can't believe the fans are turning on him i mean for what he's done for them i mean he's uh you know and it's 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 a long project i mean you know it's a bit like us we're gonna you know we're not gonna win uh the premier league uh this year maybe he's next <laughs> but uh no i i, I don't get it I mean, exactly well, no, there, yeah, there is that, that let's there just think that, about Chris. staying up first day yeah, I mean, let's, let's, let's not get carried away first, yeah yeah i know <laughs> absolutely <laughs> But no, I, I I just find it hard to believe that a, a manager okay. of his calibre is getting getting turned on. Well, look, look, I mean, you you had a manager, you know, as good as Steve Bruce, and you. If you're going to, Chris, <laughs> you, you better not be. Don't even go there. Don't even wind us up in that way. You'll you'll, you'll get sinbin, Chris. You know, <laughs> <on a> <laughs> no, but but now you look at clubs. I mean, Chelsea get rid of their managers after they've won them a European, you know, <laughs> yeah. cup. Um, um, Man United get rid of managers after they won the FA Cup. We get rid of a manager after he's won us the Premier League and was the biggest upset in in, in world soccer. Yeah, Unfortunately, it happens. And I mean, it is quite funny that I've never seen Newcastle fans as 
upbeat about going into a game as I have about you lot coming to, to, to visit us mm. on Sunday. But yeah. I can remember last year, I mean, you beat us 4-2 in that second game. Sorry, what was Not... that, Chris? Can you, just, can you just repeat that? I, I, I think you said 4-2, I, I didn't hear Paul. that. I didn't hear that, Chris. <laughs> yes, it was for it was for <laughs> two. Oh, okay, for two. But you would not find one Newcastle fan that thought you were going to win. You oh, predicted Christ that no. you were going to lose. Yeah, I did. Um, so we're just trying a bit of reverse psychology. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, it, it it could pay off. Uh, good evening, Jade. Hope you're well. Um, we need to get Jade on this channel one day, Dave. We need to, you know, yeah, um, you get all the girls back on, yeah. I, I think she's been on, I, I think she went on the loaded, uh, uh, Jade. You need to get on this channel, she did. yeah. She um, Alan says, uh, we should buy Denis from what Watford to weaken them. Um, apparently, there's rumors about Icardi coming on loan. Uh, I'll believe that when I see it. Uh, good evening, Ronald. Um, Good evening, Chippers. No, there won't be any wind breaking on this channel, my friend. God, no. uh, Nigel says, Matthias Ginter from Gladbach now on the radar. Seems a good centre-back. Um, Chippers, uh, you've been wrestling any great whites? I don't think he has. Mm. Um, Nigel says, yeah, the statement was released via PSG reporter. They won 50 million euros or a loan deal. I mean, Icardi, is a, he comes with a lot of baggage, <laughs> Dave. He comes with yeah. a lot of baggage. Um you know, it, it, he's 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 well known for, um, you know, pinching players' wives and things like that. I, I don't think he's what we need in the dressing no. room right now. And he, he, he for my we spit, spit, spit to me out a bit too much as well for me. So no, I mean, I, you know, we've said this before, Paul, and I'm sure Chris will be the same. That I forget how many. I think he works it out in the close season where we were linked with around 130 odd players. I think we've already been linked with about 151 uh, yeah, since the takeover, like that, yeah. and it's grown. And, and as we get closer to January, it's it's the old joke. It's going to be the world and his wife are going to be linked to, uh, you know. And it's just bongers, you know. I mean, I, as I've said, uh, and we said before the takeover, when I see Amanda and Mia Dad holding a shirt up in front of the East Stand, I'll believe it then. And then, you know, the same with the new manager. We've done them two things, fantastic. Let's just sit back and wait. I mean, we, we can talk all day who would like to come um, and who we think might come. But, you know, it's just, it's all idle press speculation. Yeah, we're going to get that for God. We're going to get that for as long as we're owned by oh, um, the rich people. Absolutely. I yeah. mean, go, going back to Brendan Rodgers, Chris, you know, I mean, what's your thoughts on him? I mean, it, it, are the Leicester fans really turning on him? I can't yeah. believe that. Yeah, they, they are. But we're fickle. Football fans are fickle. Um, mm. you know, you open you open a dictionary and look under football fans, it will say it fickle. will say fickle. And the, the I mean, I did a poll on my show last night and it was 56% out, 44% wow. in. I'm really? doing a show tomorrow at five on my channel, should he stay or should he go? Sort of, and I've got one guy coming on and saying out, one guy that wants him to stay. The thing is, it's the it's the standard of football we're playing. If we were going out every week and playing really good football and losing, like we did when we did the Great Escape year, mm. we wouldn't be. No, we'd be behind in 100%. But we're going out and playing like a bunch of under eight year olds. You know, it, it, it's a bet as to how long before the opposition score. Southampton away, two and a half minutes, they were 1 0 up against yeah. um against Lazio yesterday, uh, Napoli yesterday yeah. you know it was it was just under 4 minutes i think mm. and we were one nil down and you know when when the sky commentator says of a couple of weeks when we played villa getting a corner against leicester is as good as getting a goal and he hadn't mm. finished saying those words and villa got the ball in the net yeah it's, Christy it's, thinks it's, some of it is the the speculation that he was going to go to Man United or whatever. No, no, no not you at don't all. Because I, no. I, I would hope not. I mean, that's always no. going to happen. He's come out. He's, he's come out and said, "I don't think anybody would want him at the moment." But he's come out and said, "I'm not going anywhere." No. You know, and he had a meeting with the players to say he wasn't going anywhere. His problem has been, and I was just looking at the stats early for the show tomorrow. The number of times he swapped formations. We've we've played just in the Premier mm. League. We've obviously played fifteen games. Yeah. He's probably had eight different formations there. Players don't know what the hell the, the, the they're doing. To be honest with you, our player that's got the most passes is 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 Soyuncu. 
a defender because he's mm-hmm. playing it out from the back. And it is we can't defend a corner. We can't defend set pieces. We can't attack because Casper's got the ball. He's being told to play it out from the back. Evans on one side with the uh, opposition player on him. Um, so isn't you on the other side? Who does he pass to? You know, and then we end up giving the a, a throw in or get, get, giving the opposition a goal. Mm-hmm. It is just his tactics. He's gone. I mean, we we finished last season apart from the Newcastle game, which I'm trying hard to forget. But my therapist, my therapist has told me it's good to talk about it. it um, get it off your chest. Yeah. Apart from that, we went on an amazing streak at the end, and yeah, we did. had Inacho and we had Vardy up front. He'd stumbled on that because of the injuries we had. Uh-huh. So what's he do this season? You know, Inacho got 19 goals. He was our top scorer last season. He's hardly seen the pitch this season. I mean, <laughs> it, it's yeah. those things that are baffling us and that, those things that are questioning Rodgers. I mean, Chippers makes a good point here, Dave. If we beat Leicester on Sunday, we're only six points behind them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, that seems absolutely incredible given the season we've had. Um, yeah. But one thing I did notice was, um, I don't know whether you saw the game, Dave, because you were throwing matchsticks last week, I remember. Uh, <laughs> you know, they, um, something called archery, I don't know, something like that. It's one of um, the best, best sport in the world behind cricket. Yeah, okay, <laughs> whatever. Um, I watched the Leicester Villa game, and I have to say, I mean, God, that, I mean, Leicester, I thought Leicester were going to romp that game. I, the way, the, yeah. you know, when they, you know, a lovely goal by Barnes and I thought, wow, you know, Leicester are going to sort of really take it to Villa here. But then it just all changed and Villa could have scored four or five. I mean, it was mm. it was a bizarre game. It was, I think, I mean, again, I only saw it on, on match the day, obviously, but I, I felt that did the run of steam, did the run of ideas, did the just, couldn't be bothered. I don't think. I think at the day. I mean, I, I just think that the the run out of, of ideas and and mm. as Chris is saying, you know, it, it it sounds like there's almost square pegs and round holes, and we've heard that before, um, you know. And if the if the plan isn't there, if if the formation isn't there regularly, and the players don't know quite what they're doing, it's always going to fall apart. Yeah. And, I, and I think for me this year, unlike previous years, and Chris will um, agree or disagree. I think that. They're leaking goals like anything at the minute. I mean, it's you know you, you you look at the goals for and against. I mean, the goals against are, I, w- I would say, Chris know better than I do. It's been the highest they've been for a number of years. You, you know, where you are in the league, you've conceded thirty. Where mm-hmm. we are, we've conceded twenty-seven. So that's a goal, problem, isn't it? It is, and like I say, you know, when you're conceding a goal after two minutes and after four minutes. The problem, we're, we're going to have to have a collection, I think, and buy Brendan Rodgers a wrist, wristwatch because he doesn't understand that a game is 90 minutes long yeah. because he gets the team. Oh, we had a slow start this 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 game. We had a good slow start two games ago. Oh, we had a great start in this game, but the second half we didn't really come out. It's a, it's, you know, it's a game of two halves. Two it's halves. 90 minutes. You yeah. play for the 90 minutes. I mean, the other night he made a substitution on the 89th minute. What? Is the point? What can that guy do in what was probably four or five minutes? He can't, you know. Well, to be honest, Chris, Steve Bruce we, used to bring players on with twenty seconds left. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, <laughs> I, I mean, it, it, it is. It, where where do you think the weak spot is in your defence? Is it just where do I start? Is it where tactics do I start? or is it players that aren't good enough? It, th- these are the same players that for the last two years or two seasons, sorry, I've done well for us in mm-hmm. defence. Mm-hmm. You know, you've got. Uh, and I'm not having this sort of a lot of people saying, well, Fafana's out injured and what have you. And and yes, he is a big loss, but we had more injuries the last couple of seasons with COVID and, and all the whatever. Um, we, we weren't this bad. So, yeah, we've lost a couple of defenders. You never know which, what I say, hey, first of all, you never know which formation. Is it going to be three at the back, four at the back? Nobody knows. So nobody's used to playing with each other week in, week out. And he's playing this stupid ass, passing it about at the back, playing it out from the back. Um, and you know what? We can't, we, you know, we're not Liverpool. We can't do that. We get caught out. And he sticks with this. He sticks yeah. with it. And what the coaches are doing defensive-wise, because like I said, we can't defend a corner. 
you know. But you got you got Soyuncu is a Turkish international. You got Evans, who is a um, he's got the most experienced player in the team, probably. He's won titles with Man United, etc. You yeah. got Castagna, who is a um, uh, Belgian international. Well, on the left, you've got Bertrand, who's got the experience, or Thomas, who's young and, and coming through. Um, why are those sort of players playing badly? Because they don't know what they are doing or what they are supposed to be doing when they go out. It's it's strange. I mean, uh, you know, uh, I mean, obviously, you know, Roger's been linked with with the Man United job and things like that, and you think, well, you know, there, there's, there must be a reason why he's been linked. But then when you hear this, it's like, well, Christ. that was last. Yeah, I mean, in fairness, that was last season. You yeah. know, I mean, it, it's you know, Ollie was the savior at the start, wasn't he? he? Was driving the bus and what have you, and and, mm-hmm. and he's he's gone off the boil. You know, managers do, unfortunately. And somebody said, like, you know, oh, having a go at Ranieri, we sacked him when we got rid of him. Football clubs do it. Football yeah. fans do it. If we have three wins and win the, you know, we end up in say end up the season in sixth and win the the Europa Conference. We'll all love Rogers again. Mm. True. Um, yeah. True. It, it's a fair point, Paul. I mean, if you look at some of the top European sides, they you know hardly ever give their managers more than a couple of years. Doesn't matter how well they've done. Uh, yeah. You know, they swap and change all the time, which it, it, it seems a bit bonkers. But I, I still think he's a good manager, and I, you know, I, I'm taken aback by what Chris is saying. I, I don't think it was quite that bad, you know. But I mean, I know you've got some players out. And can I can I ask what, what what's happened to uh, Perez? I mean, he just. He's just not playing anymore. Uh, Dave, we have uh, can't find the receipt for that. So, uh, I, I'll be care- okay, Robert. Yeah, yeah, that really- <laughs> he, he, he was damaged when we bought him. We, we've got the receipt. Yeah. And let's face, <laughs> let's face it, 30 million to you, it, it's you, you lose that out of your pocket now, don't you? You can afford well, to yeah, give us that it's, back. Yeah. It's wallet, wallet uh, change, isn't it? Now, these days. Know, it's bloody crazy, isn't it? <laughs> it we're talking is. about that being a, a little drop in the ocean for us now. Yeah. yeah. Um, Perez, he, he's. Yeah. The crowd haven't taken to him. It was Rogers' first signing. Um, Rogers decided to play him out on the wing, and I don't think he's a winger. Um, and you, you know, when, it, when when things are going bad, you, you things just continue to go bad. Passes come off, and you know, there's, you'll have the odd good game, like I get a hat trick against Southampton, but then it's back to the normal Perez. You know, he's just, yeah. I, I guess. He was Brendan's first sign-in, 30 million. We didn't negotiate. We came in and said, do you want 30 million for him? He's 30 million. We'll have him. And I just think a lot was expected of him. You know, he's mm-hmm. thought of as a striker, and he, but, he's, you know, he doesn't get the goals. Um, but And I think the thing is, as bad as everybody else thinks he is, <laughs> Brendan, Brendan likes him. Yeah. I, did, um, I missed that. Why do I look like what? Sorry. You, you well, look like Dave like with a other. cap on. So, uh, you know, br- brother from another mother. <laughs> brother from uh, another DJ mother, yeah. Joey says, I'm impressed with the Leicester fans merch collection, Chris, in the background. It's excellent, man. Yeah, I must admit. Premier you know, League there. Look at that. Premier League. I know. Those were the days. That must have taken a few <laughs> years to build up those that collection. What you got? Oh, it has. It has, and a lot of money as well. But Yeah, I bet it has. Yeah. Can, I, can I just say with Brendan, I can sit here... And I can moan about him mm-hmm. because we're entitled. We're fans. We play our yep, money, whether definitely. it's buying merchandise or buying season tickets or whatever. We are fans. We are allowed to have an opinion. Absolutely. Just because your opinion isn't saying that the sun's shining out of the particular manager's arse at that particular time does not mean we're not a fan. Does not mean we don't support the club. Mm-hmm. And I am moaning about Brendan, but if you ask the question, do I want Brendan out? No. Because I think it is just one of those blip seasons, you know. Yeah. And it's, it, it's a lot. It's a long term project that he, he's putting together. He is a good manager, you know. You could you could argue, well, yeah, you know, he did he did this in Spain and what uh, in sorry, in Spain in 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 uh, Scotland, and uh-huh. anybody could do it in Scotland. Better <laughs> when Rangers weren't even in the same division. But he is overall, he is a well respected manager. He is. I he is. I will moan about him and I will shout at him and I will call him all the names under the sun when he once again changes the tactics and makes stupid substitutions. Yeah. I will give him praise when he went, you know, when he, we beat Watford, when we beat Man United. As I fans do. As fans yeah. do. Exactly. Um, it's exactly. right. It's, it, it, don't want him to go, but 
sorry, Chris, it, it is all about opinions and mm. we all have them and we need to respect each other's opinions. We may, yeah. may disagree, but we've got to, yeah. you know, respect them. And, and the most important thing is to stay mates and to stay supporting yeah. the team that we both love, you know, and, yeah. uh, you know, and, and yes, we, you're absolutely right. We have, we have the right to criticise as we did every minute of every day for the last two yeah. seasons. Can, I, can, can I just say that comment that I've just put up on the screen there? I think yeah. that's absolutely... I mean, come on. Less, one Premier League title doesn't make them a big club. Yes, it bloody does. Right. They've it won does, the Premier yeah. League. Yeah, so, does, does. you know, that, that's a pathetic thing to say. You know, yeah. our stadium is, is bigger than the King Power. Does that make us a bigger club than Leicester at the minute? No, it no. doesn't. Leicester no. have silverware. They've won the FA Cup. Come on. Mm. Think about what you're writing before you bloody press enter. Yeah, I think, um, you're you're doing my job for me here. <laughs> well, yeah, you've got to look at how many teams have actually won the Premier League. It's not that many. Yeah. It's only and handful. The funny thing yeah. is that I, I was taking the piss out of Arsenal fans at the start of the season. You know, we want Arteta out and uh, it's the first time in how many years we haven't been in Europe. Everything's going wrong. And yes, we are turning into that. But it, it, it's fans, you know, we, we we don't claim that we're a big club. You know, we know we hit the jackpot when we got our new owners in, just as you have done now. Uh, but we will never claim to be a big club. Sky will never see us as a big club. I have never heard but, a Leicester fan say yeah. we're a big or we're a massive club. No, no uh, you because know, I, I still I, say we're a little club. To be honest, <laughs> we've always said all along, and, and Dave, you'll back me up on this on this channel, I've always said... I would love Newcastle to put into a process that Leicester have had. You know, yeah. you know, yeah, absolutely, one hundred percent. Would I? You know, yeah. growing, just slowly getting there with a process in place that actually works. And 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 there it is. It's there for all to see. Premier League title, FA Cup yeah. winners. You know, we mm -hmm. can't say that. We haven't said that for so long now. Don't, don't you know, forget it, the English Super Cup. And the Super Cup, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the Community Shield. Yeah, the Community I mean, Shield. Yeah, the, the he thing won that is, as well. Though, we we have had a lot of success in the last five years or so, but success builds expectations. Oh, absolutely. You know, and and that's the problem. The more success we have, the more success as fans we want, you know. And what we do on the post-match show, which is half an hour after the final whistle goes and we've just lost and been knocked out or whatever, and what we actually think we are, you know, about it the next day when we've calmed down and taken out, you know, football-tinted spectacles off is two different things. Exactly. Uh, Ginger mm. says here, um, the problem you have is if Brendan Rodgers leaves, Leicester will not find another top manager. I think they would, but I don't think, that, I, you know, Brendan Rodgers is is now held in very high esteem across the football and world. And it, it, obviously, you, you take a risk if you get rid of Brendan Rodgers now, given that you've just hit a blip. I mean, so many clubs are ready to pull the trigger. But the, the saving grace for Rodgers, I think, Chris, is he seems to have a very, very very good relationship with the owners, doesn't he? Yeah, I mean, it is. I mean, the whole the relationship between the whole staff side and the playing side and the director side and the owner. I mean, it is. I mean, you know, what other? I've never seen another owner go onto the pitch after the FA Cup final and jump up and down holding the cup. I've never know, seen that, it. That was you incredible. Know. That it, it was un, unreal, and he has got that. And it is a long-term plan. It doesn't stop us getting frustrated when we get knocked out of Europe. Of course it does, you know. But we've got to remember that was our third season in Europe. How many years did it take Man City when they got to the Champions League yeah. to get out of the group? Oh, yeah. Probably three yeah. or four seasons. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I will go. Yeah, I will go mad because we're not playing very well and we're doing this and doing that. We're, we're fans. You know, we all think we can manage the club better than the manager. Well, yeah, but, but any, anyone that watches this channel knows that I, I never lose my temper on here with Newcastle United. No. Very I, rare. I've, I've watched this never channel as a lesson. I've never seen you lose your temper. No, no. Uh, yeah. uh, Ginger's asking, why did Leicester change from 4-1-4-1? They played so well with that blueprint. <laughs> Will you please send that in a letter to uh, Brendan Rodgers? We don't know. We don't know. He changes the two choices. Tuchel at Chelsea, there is an example. He picks his team. He picks his formation. He says, this is the formation I like. This is the formation that's going to work for me. This is the formation I'm sticking to. You manager of the opposition, you worry about me. I'm not going to worry about you. And if somebody's ill, the person that goes and takes it, it's a square peg in a square hole. Mm -hmm. 
when you're changing the formation week in, week out, and you could argue the professional footballers that they should be able to, but you end up, you, you know, you're like a, a first time player on FIFA. You know, you want to kick the ball and you run it out of the, <laughs> the corner post and you know, your passes go into row's head because, you know, you can see we're pushing passes through to people and like nobody's there. But the week before, somebody would have been there. He's trying different things. Um, yeah. And I just, I can say, I, I do, I am accepting that this season, as frustrating and as annoying as it is, it is our reality check season. Mm. Well, I don't think you're getting much sympathy from people on here, to be honest, Chris. Uh, isn't it brilliant to hear other supporters of other clubs whinging and whining? Yeah. Uh, then he says, Jesus, get the violin out. <laughs> He's a good guy, John. Is He's a good guy. Yeah. But yeah, um, it's true, though. It's true. We all moan about our clubs and we all yeah. have different, you know, I mean... You guys moan about Mike Ashley. I could turn around and say, well, you know, all I could say with Mike Ashley was that he kept your club from going bust and, you you know, he was good with the uh, fair play or money rules or whatever it was. You'll see it, quite rightly, completely differently because you're within there week in, week out. Yeah, so, exactly. it, it, you know, we all we all moan. G give, us, give us three or four wins and we'll all be singing his, as I say, singing his praises. That's football. Uh, <laughs> Ginger says, uh, "Does this guy change his lightly like he changes his pants? Try supporting Newcastle. That's a hardship." That's not, that's <laughs> no, I will never. I will never ever. Two things I never do, and this is what you know. People forget you. You don't buy into this club. You don't. Suddenly, don't start saying, oh, "I'm going to be a Newcastle fan," or, or certainly not those of an older generation before no, Sky and what have you. Yep. Um, you're born a Newcastle fan. Or your dad's a Newcastle fan and you're following in his mm -hmm. footsteps. You can't change yeah. loyalties left. And this is why no. we get so passionate about things. So if we look to the... Um, I mean, somebody's asking, uh, if we send you 30 million for Vardy and you can throw Perez in as well, just as, a, as an extra thing. I, I wouldn't pay 30 million for Vardy now. I think, you know, not, not at his age. Despite he's the fact still he's still scoring... In the He's he second is. in the golden boot, though. He so. is. Um, he is. But still knows of the net, though. Damn mm. right. Uh, Jade says uh, Perez has a has a good six to ten games a season, usually after Christmas. True. Bargain. Uh, he does. He did that for us. Uh, DJ six, floats six to Perez. Ten. Six to well, ten. It might be a bit <laughs> less these days. Perez mm. doesn't start playing well till around February or March. Um, and Paul says you can have Lascelles and Kraft for James Madison. Now, there is one player who's playing well. But again, if you'd come back to us five, six weeks ago, he wasn't. You know, it, it's it, he was injured. Um, and the thing with Rodgers is, and I'll give him credit for this, is when he brings players back, he does ease them in. You know, he doesn't sort of usually he did he did on Thursday, but usually he doesn't throw them back on for ninety minutes. He gives them, you know, the last twenty minutes and the last thirty, and he built he builds it up. And Madison had come back, and that's the other thing as well. And while I'm not blaming injuries, a lot of these players when they come back, they're not the same players that they were before they were injured because they've got to build up the match fitness, they've got to get back, got to get used to playing again. And Madison yeah. took quite a while. Now he's on fire again. You know, he's, he's been given a bit more of a free role and, and he's loving his football again. Uh, yeah, he's, he's he's definitely looking like he's, he's loving his football, which is kind of what we want to see from Miggy Div. Um, yeah. You know, it, it, smiling again and enjoying his football, which we saw a bit of, I guess, against Burnley. But, yeah. you know, that it, it wasn't anything near what we know Miggy is capable no, of. That's, you know that's... I mean? Absolutely true, Paul. I think when he when he hit that ball that curved across and their defender just managed to get ahead to it, um, he, he had a very wry grin on his face. But he, but he, you're right, he had been smiling a bit more and looking as though he was a bit more interested. But I mean, what's a then? He looked absolutely miserable, bless him. And you know, as, as we both said, is he strong enough for the Premier League? I, I don't know. I'm like you. I'm, I'm undecided. I love him a bit, and I would I would love to see. In the era to he being one of our standout players, and everybody, you know, sort of singing the praises. Were, did you follow the tune when, you know, when Miggy was knocking them in and, and really running teams ragged, which which we know yeah. he can do. Yeah. But the um, yeah, the, the the sort of miserableness that he's had lately is has been there. Sad to say, it really has. 
Yep. Uh, Will says, uh, here, guys, uh, my day gets better every time you guys are either live or post a video. I have COVID, so that sucks. Mm. But whenever I've seen you post, it cheers me up. Thanks for that. No bother, Will. Thank oh, you for get, the comment, mate. Well, soon, buddy. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Chip says, Perez only turned up in December and made to get a move away. Ooh, <laughs> harsh. Wow. Uh, Shanio says, does the Leicester fan have any, have any idea of the players who are missing for Leicester on Sunday? Um, I'm guessing if they missed the game on um, Thursday, that they're going to miss the game on Sunday because you the time that you've got to sort of self isolate for. Um, so you're looking cool. at cool wave to um, cool wave to Paul in Acho. Um, no, oh, he's, he's, he's your striker, your new striker's arrived. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. In Acho will be out. Um, he, he's the main one. A lot. I mean, apparently it was seven players, but most of them probably weren't starters anyway. Look, I was going to say, you had a pretty strong yeah. side out last night, didn't you? Yeah, mm. We did. We did. I looked at Good that at the start of the night. game and thought, that's not, that's still not a bad side, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Which I don't understand, you know, why people are saying, oh, the game might be called off. I think Leicester have plenty of players available. Um, I mean, what Brendan Rodgers else... has come out and said he, he doesn't want it called off. And it's only if it gets really desperate that it will yeah. be, you know. Well, I mean, they're going to have to make a decision on it sooner rather than later. They can't expect Newcastle fans who've made it's plans good. for travel and stuff no. like that. Mm. You know, the, the, there's that to consider as well, including myself. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, I'm just trying. It's got, down, it's got you know. to be early in the morning, Paul, hasn't it? Lunchtime the latest to stop people going. Well, there. I would say yeah. t tomorrow it has to be. You know, we can't mm. leave it till Sunday. Oh, you God, know, if they're no. going to call the no. game off, it's got to be no. tomorrow. No, it's got to um, be. But that, that, that's presuming that you know clubs and associations care about fans. Yeah, that's a fair point. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which and they normally don't, don't give a damn about Newcastle fans. I mean, sending us to Arsenal for a lunchtime kickoff on a Saturday when the tubes are off and everything. It's, it's, yeah. Honestly, uh, it's, it's crazy. Uh, John says, I supported our club for over 60 years. And this guy is whinging like he is. You have won the league and the rest in the last couple of years. I wish we could have done the same. <laughs> Yeah, but to be fair, John, I mean, you know, to be fair, to be fair, if we'd have won the league and the FA Cup, but we were... You know, our you know for a fact what Newcastle fans are like, John. Our expectations would have gone through the roof. Yeah. We would want the Champions League the the year after. So then, when you don't meet those expectations, you do have a grumble. And Christ, yeah. we do it plenty on this channel. We do it. I was going. I was going to say. I, I think of the last couple of seasons. I've not seen any Newcastle show that hasn't had whinging on. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I think, I think, thin, I think, there's a thin line the between whinging and whinge. passion. <laughs> I, uh, I think just, that, uh, sorry, on, Paul. I was going to say, I think the, the thing with fans is that if we won every game throughout the season and went, went you know, won every single game in, in the league, we'd be complaining we weren't winning by enough. You know, we weren't scoring as enough goals or we're letting too many in, you know. So mm. we're, we're never going to be pleased. We're really not. It's a shame, yeah. but never mind. Uh, if five to 10 years is fast track and I hate to see steady, I know uh, people talk about years to come and I'm thinking, God almighty, please, not years. Uh, can't, can't, it makes yes, no Paul, sense. I'm, I'm 70 know. this year and I can't oh, wait much Dave, longer. You know, <laughs> we know you're an old bugger. You don't have to tell I us. Am, I am. Um, Nigel says, is it true Connor Cody is going to Leicester? Absolutely sodden not. No. Uh, he's winding us up there, by the way, because uh, I'm a big advocate for Connor Cody, yeah, Chris. Um, let's, I, well, I mean, let's be honest. You don't need to sell anybody. You know, if, if we could, you know, clubs like Leicester cannot afford now. If we wanted a player like with Perez, we couldn't get Perez now because you'd be saying we want 50 million for him. Pay yeah, it but we're, we're going to have the other way around, though. You know, we're, we're going to go in for Definitely. players and, and yeah. teams are going to boost their prices yeah. up 10, 10 yeah. to 15 million. Oh, we you expect know that. it's Newcastle knocking. You yeah, know. exactly. But we, we do say, we, though, Perez. No, you can have him for free. Don't worry about it. You know, we won't <laughs> That's very the price of him. I mean, <laughs> listen. You know, the, the fact of the matter is, we, we we do need to get a few players out to free up the the twenty five man squad for for January. Um, you know, and and we're constantly thinking who it may be. I mean, it could be anybody out of the bloody squad at the minute, apart from a couple of players. Um, you know, but Eddie Howe has made a dramatic turnaround with certain individuals. I mean. Joe Linton's looking like the best player on the pitch every game now, and which I never ever thought I would say those words. So um, true. Because I have hammered the guy since he's been at Newcastle. But 
you know. Really? To yeah, him. you hid it well. Yeah, I, well, I do, I do, Chris, as you know. I, I hide everything, I hide my temper with this football team always. Very calm. Always very very co cool, calm, collective, Paul. Can I, can I ask you guys a question? Because I actually live on the south coast, I live just outside Bournemouth. Yeah. And I've seen what Eddie Howe did for Bournemouth. And if you think that the Leicester story is good, um, the Bournemouth story is amazing. Fourth yes. tier, minus 17 points, within a nod of the head of an investor of going out of business. And he yeah, they were. dragged that yeah. team up into the Premier League. But not your first choice. Well, not your board's first choice. Hey, listen, listen, right? We were talking about him before Bruce got even Bruce was sacked. Um, you know, I, I, yeah. I, I don't get this about you know the people coming on about Eddie House saying, Oh, you know, he had a relegation on his CV, you know, he got Bournemouth relegated. You turn around and you look what the guy did for that club, yeah, the size absolutely. of Bournemouth to bring them from, like you say, the depth of you know, going out of business, the whole thing, and he turned it around and maintained them in the Premier League for several seasons. Five, that five seasons. That is unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, people seem to forget that. And the work that he's already done at this football club since he's walked through the door, fitness-wise, he's got a, a, a warm-up gym built under the stands now for the players next to the dressing room. You can see the, the things that he's trying to do with the team. And, yes, we all know that some of those players are not good enough for Newcastle United. And we know they're not good enough to play in the Premier League. But that's what he's got until January. And mm -hmm. for what he's done in the first few weeks he's been there has been incredible. The Bournemouth fans, you know, I had one on my mm -hmm. channel talking about Eddie Howe. So, you know, they love him still. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, yeah. it, it's, I'm just glad that, you know, he's been given a chance. You know, instead of getting a foreign manager in, we've got a young, mm. hungry English manager who wants to prove himself and wants to do well. He's got his shot at a at a, at a decent sized club now, where he could mm. take he could actually become a legend up here if he was to, <laughs> you know, work some yeah. sort of magic, keep us up this season, buy players next season. And Dave, the sky's the limit after that for him, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think there's quite a few people have looked at what he's done in the, you know, the short time he's been here. I mean, the, he had the. Um, international break, uh, you know, to sort of get the players. And, and we saw the first game after that, the level of fitness. And as, as we both said, Chris Paul and I have said another show is that after 60 minutes, our team are blown up their arse because they're actually not going to, because they're only training three, three and a half days out, out of five or seven. I mean, it was two and a half. Two, I can't want even two and a half, yeah. Uh, it just didn't happen. And then, you know, one of our players had said, in an interview last week, he was in bed by eight o'clock because he was actually worn out, you know, because the, mm. the, he has them in every day because he's desperate to get them fit. And, yeah. and it's it's seen. And I think the, the game where, you know, we, we got a player sent off after eight minutes, uh, we played 80 minutes with only 10 men. And it was hard to see who which side had the, had the 10 men. Yeah. Was, I mean, our team were absolutely wrecked at the end of that game. There's no way on God's earth that would happen when Bruce was there. That would have, no. that would have fallen. The thing apart I think you'll get with uh, with Eddie Howe is he for you this season and all the money that you've had. You know you've now got and, and you can go out in January. It's all about staying up for you this season. Absolutely, one hundred percent. And let's face it, what does what did Unai Emery know about keeping a club out of the relegation zone? Nothing. Nothing. Mm -hmm. You know. Nothing at all. But I, you know, I, 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 I'm convinced Emery bottled it anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. convinced Emery bottled it. But, yeah. um, Jordy boys, eighteen ninety two. I love this channel. I'll never get bored of the lives or the vlogs. Doing a great job. Thank you, buddy. Cheers, um, man. Thank you. Ben's been very optimistic for Sunday. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got that many players corners, out, man. You could do, mate. If you exactly. <laughs> There's not that many players missing. Uh, every club has its time, just like Barcelona and just like Leicester. Uh, yeah. It's it's yeah. a normal thing. Uh, Cesare says, Vardy is an absolute machine. No signs of slowing down anytime soon. Um, he, Rogers is, I mean, is Rogers managing him now? You know, the time he's on the pitch? We've got Dakar in. Yeah. Um, I feel so sorry for Inacho because, you know, he was at the club, he was waiting his chance, he was never played in the right position, he was being given 10 minutes at the end of games. And, you know, like we said, you can't, you know, you can't judge players on, on sort of the last 10, five, 10 minutes if they come on. Um, he finally got his chance last season. He took it. Him and Vardy were amazing together. 
and Vardy became more. Hey, Scott, he's, he's a Leicester fan, Scott. Yeah, I, got, I gathered that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 um, and I forgot what I was saying now. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Vardy. And we, you know, we suddenly we'd got this pair in, mm. and then he dropped in that show. You know, I, we don't. But he's brought yeah, Daka I, in. I, I didn't quite understand that because they seem to have a good partnership. Those two, didn't they? Did. But mm. Daka will be Jamie Vardy's natural successor. And can mm. you imagine, as a Newcastle defender, let's say, if you've been up against Daka, who is faster than than Vardy, mm-hmm. Daka goes off after eighty minutes because he's knackered, and you're thinking, "Thank God for that." And then you see Jamie Vardy walking on the pitch. Mm. Yeah. And that is how I think he will use him over the next few years. I think Dak is a decent player, actually. I've been quite impressed with him so yeah. far. Um, four, goal, four goals in one game in Europe. That's not yeah, bad. Yeah, did. Uh, <laughs> well, that was, I, my, dad, my dad's a Sunderland fan. I'm, I support Newcastle after my nan died in 93. But for me, North Shields is my home forevermore. Uh, listen, I know what it's like to have Sunderland fans in the family, mate. Don't you worry about that. Uh, <laughs> my mother's side are all red and whites, including my brother. Um, DJ Jewish says, I used to get bullied in school for being a Newcastle fan. My bullies used to support the then top four. I'm just glad we finally have some hope to compete now. Yeah, uh, Stu says, uh, hit the likes, lads and lasses. Yes, please. Thank right, you Stu. very much. Uh, I will return to Biker one day when I can. Of course, he will. Come just on. time, just give it time. Welcome to the Leicester fans on here. What's your predictions? Don't let's not do predictions yet. Just, Later just on. chill. Later on. Um, we need the center midfielders and defense to stay solid to free Miggy up. So he can get back up attacking and find some form in a run of games. I mean, that's the thing, isn't it? It's getting Miggy further forward, Dave. It is. I mean, we we said that last week, the week before, that uh, Miggy sitting too far back. If he was pushed up, you know, we're talking about who would would put in, um, you know, in place of him and get him and push up where he was, and even where um, young uh, oh, his name's gone, ex Arsenal lad. Um, you know, that get them two pushing up, it would be far better. Um, and you know, get get making to start uh, making them runs that, that he knows we know he can do down the wings into the box. Yeah. Um, Eric, who is a West Ham fan, says we beat Leicester four one, and Vardy looked to have his best days behind him. Well, everybody's allowed an off game, I guess. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I don't think. I mean, what, what what sort of formation will you be going for on Sunday? Do you think, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> You, 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 you tell me. Like I say, I you can't predict it. You literally can't predict it. Uh, and you know, I, I go, I go back with Leicester too. When, when Nigel Pearson, um, when we lost the playoff semi-final to Watford with that last, that last uh, kick of the ball from Troy Deeney, yeah. the following season, I could have told you what the Leicester formation was and the players six weeks in advance of the game. Because he yeah. did it, he, he put it, and, he, uh, and everybody knew what they were doing. Everybody knew who was making the runs. Um, we then got promoted. We had a couple of good wins. We beat Man United, and then literally he went and did the same. He was changing it. He was more worried about what they were doing than what we were doing, mm-hmm. and we were stuck at the bottom. I, I don't know. I really don't know what formation he's going to play. I would love it. I sound like um, like Kevin Keegan. Kevin Keegan. I'd, love I'd, love it. It. I'd love it. I'd love it. Love it. I'd love it. Um, I'd love a four four two. I really would because Vardy needs somebody up there with him, or a or a or a four two two two. If you like that, that's the the. the can you imagine you though, Dave? Can you imagine we set up the same? You know, good old fashioned football four four two against four four two. When was that last heard of? Um, Craig says, uh, opinions on Joe Linton, guys. How seems to have influenced him? Dave? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we, we, well, you and and others give him a a lot of hammer. Um, And and right, you know, and right, you saw. um, But we, you know, even under Bruce's last couple of games, he started to look as though he's he's playing better, obviously working out. But since Howe's come in, he's been an absolute revelation. Um, You know, and he, he certainly, I would say one of the first on the team sheet now. He's playing really well. Um, you know, tackling, you know, doing one twos on himself and all that. It's just I don't know what, you know, something happened. You know, I, I joke as I said last week, I joke with the lads I sitting here who who's cloned him and, and put a footballer in there. But it, it, we, it, that honestly does look like that's what happened, so it, yeah, it's bizarre. It's, just, it's, it's um, amazing. Long long may it continue. Well, Paul. yeah, exactly. Um 
Chris, uh, what's your opinion on the Newcastle takeover? Are you worried? And do you think the rest of the Premiership are worried and bitter? Or are they justified? I, th- I think certain clubs are bitter. Um, I think if you're honest, um, you know, as, as, a, as, a, as a Leicester fan, I look at you and you, you, you know, we won the lottery when we got our current owners in mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you've won the lottery because, you know, the owners have looked at Newcastle, seen that, that you know, I mean, it's a huge club. You know, your fan base is amazing. Who wouldn't want to take over that club? And the fact that they happen to be as rich as they are, well done, guys. You know, you you got it. We didn't. All right, you know, you can then argue about, you know, things that they've been doing, you know, human rights. But that's not your concern. That's politics. We want to keep that up. We we have no control. Oh, that Man City, you know, when they one of their owners was in ended up in jail, you know, oh, our owners yeah, have been accused yeah. of, of bribery in the home. It, it's jealousy. Now, I I, I want to see you do well because I want to see whoever it is, and I'm loving West Ham this season. Yeah, because they are yeah. knocking those so called big, and it's Sky that calls them the big six. How you got Arsenal and Spurs still in the big six? God only knows. Yeah. But they get the viewers for, for Sky, so Sky calls them the big six. Yeah, Go in there, guys. Smash that glass ceiling. Kick their asses, please. Yeah. Well, that's what we like to see. I, I think that's why we were so happy Leicester won the league because it was yeah. somebody yeah. different. It was yes. a brilliant story, you know. Yeah, that's what it's oh, all I'd about. I'd love you. I'd love you to 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 do well. You know, we know mm-hmm. how you have suffered from the outside. We can, you know, what you, you know, how it's been for a few years. Mm-hmm. So great, go and do it. I'd love mm-hmm. it to be us, obviously, but if it's not Definitely. us, somebody else is going to do it. Good luck, guys. You got the takeover. Um, yeah, a, you know, a little bit of me is jealous, but then. You know, you're richer than us now. <laughs> but then Rochdale or Oldham will be looking at Leicester going, God, we should, we should yeah. got their money. Yeah, you know? exactly. <laughs> we, um, so no, Chris, we, we, were, we were just pleased that the windows were cleaned the other week. Exactly. You know, we were I, celebrating the windows were cleaned. Years. I mean, that's I mean, how bad it is. It oh, look, the horses years. down the concrete outside the stadium. My yeah, God, celebrations. <laughs> Pans 2.0. <laughs> uh, obviously, it was crazy. Um, right, we've got well over 200 watching tonight, guys. So uh, wow. if you are enjoying the show, please do smash the like button. And uh, if you are new to the channel and you like what you see, uh, please uh, do go and consider subscribing. And also, um, you know, if you're a football fan, do go and subscribe to uh, Lester, Lester Till I Die on YouTube as well. Fantastic channel with Chris. Uh, very good content as well, talking about, yes, it's a Leicester channel, but good football content as well. So if you're a football fan, please do go and uh, subscribe to, yes. to Chris as well. Uh, Jade says, um, ha ha, imagine asking for anything over £1 million for Jeff Hendrick. Um, <laughs> Look, somebody will pay it. Uh, under Ashley, we would have probably seen ASM and Wilson leave in January with no replacement. Uh, sure. Scott says Vardy can go for 150 mil. Uh, Dublin Magpie says Paul hides his temper like I mute my mic. Uh, yeah, we all <laughs> you, know. You won't get that one, Chris. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I know, uh, I've seen enough of uh, seen enough of Paul to know that uh, when he, when he gets on one, he goes, you know, yeah. turn the sound down. Yeah, well, you know. Um, uh, Ginger says we don't Paul in football uh, you can just unregister them take eight out of eight put new ones in register win yeah I, I suppose you can yeah, yeah, you um, can yeah it's a good supporting point. Newcastle in Denmark I think it's about 50-50 people either look at you funny and ask why the hell would you do that and the other half co- uh, commends you for sticking with the club through Ashley God have we not okay. uh, Paul <laughs> says uh, very good evening everyone in the chat and Paul and Dave hi Paul uh, says you're so right Paul Eddie Howe did an excellent job at Bournemouth um, yeah. Mike says, I love that he's down to earth and gets us, as they say. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, got to believe in fate, we could have Rafa or you and I. I'm happy with Eddie. Listen, Rafa Benitez, I'm still hearing people. I saw something ridiculous, Dave, on Twitter this morning saying that, oh, you know, our Newcastle gonna pounce for um, for Rafa if he gets sacked at Everton and just sack uh, Eddie Howe. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I saw that absolutely. They need to get bonkers. rid of this. Fallacy over bloody Rafa Benitez. I mean, you know, I've got nothing against Rafa. I love the bloke. Don't yeah. get me wrong. But he is not coming back to Newcastle. No. I don't no, want him back. No, We've got a new I, optimistic I, manager now. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I, I love Rafa, even when, you know, uh, we, he played a certain way because he had to, because we know why he, he couldn't get the money, you know, he, the, the Ashley wouldn't spend the money. And the last six months of his, of his career here were starting to, play well you know the the, the the players were getting and were doing re- really well but actually just let him run out his time 
Uh, but that ship that ship has sailed, as we've said a few times, and I wish him all the best. He's a, he's a lovely, lovely, lovely man. Uh, but no, uh, he, he he's gone sadly. So yeah, move on. Yeah. Uh, John makes a good point as well. People, please note, Eddie Howe did not get Bournemouth relegated. It was the official's incompetent way of handling a game of football. It was Villa who should have gone down. Yeah, that's, that's a we'll very fair point. never forget that because the yeah. goal line technology, Villa would have been down. Eddie Howe so wouldn't he, have had the relegation yeah. on his CV. And the people would have been praising him because he kept them up under the circumstances that yeah. happened to Bournemouth that season with the injury problems and everything else. Yeah. And, so and, and they the saw some good players as well, which... Uh, didn't help his cause, yeah. They, so. they don't. They don't have a. The, the car park is not. The, the club is not owned by them. Yeah. <laughs> it's owned by the I council. Know. The training thing is a little corner just built off the ground. What they've achieved is, and what Eddie did there amazing. is absolutely amazing. And I think he will do absolutely brilliant for you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Shaniel says, uh, I don't see the obsession uh, with which clubs are bigger than others. At the end of the day, who cares? It's something fans can't control. Uh, with Dortmund out the Champions League, could we get some players off them? Uh, there's a possibility, yeah, but, uh, you know, this again, it depends where we are in the league as to where we are going mm -hmm. to go shopping in, in January. Uh, one thing I want is to see Newcastle compete for Jonathan David because with Arsenal after him, we need to push ahead of them. I don't think Arsenal's a very appealing club to go to right now, to be honest. No, at the uh, moment, it's not. They don't seem to have any plan in place, any process, whereas no. we we do have a plan. It's just, you know, we need to get out of the problems that we're in at the minute. Which yeah. Arsenal have lost the buzz, Paul, which they had for years. It's gone and um, it, it'll take a while to get back. And I, I don't think Arsenal's a, a place to go. It's a shame because I've always liked Arsenal, but a uh, couple of my good mates are Arsenal fans, so I've always had a soft spot for them, but... No, there's there's no buzz there at the moment. A soft, a soft well, spot for the Gooners. Well, yeah, because really, was my my old boss um, uh, was a Gooner fan, and sadly he died a few years ago of cancer. He was he's only forty one, so yeah, so I, you know, just because of that, um, I, I love the guy. He's one of the few bosses I really like. So yeah, I've got a little bit of a soft spot. I know I'm odd. Yes, I'm old. You know, <laughs> I, I've got a soft spot for Arsenal. It's a swamp at the bottom of the garden. <laughs> yeah, I love yeah. It. I I'm, love I'm it. with you. I'm, uh, uh, <laughs> Arsenal. Nap. Can I get a nap? Nap. Uh, Tony has want to know if Tielemans is fit. Yep, he played a full ninety on um, Thursday. Whether he'll be risked for ninety again so soon? That was his first game back, and he yeah. didn't look. Like I said earlier, you know, he, he, he's not yet the Tillemans that we knew before he was injured. It's yeah. going to take him a few games to get back in. But yes, yes, he is fit, and I think he will play some part because of just of who he is. You know, mm -hmm. I think he will play some part whether he starts and goes off or, or doesn't start and come on, but you will see him on Sunday. I think the thing is, Chris, we want we don't want him to play because one of our fellow podcasters, uh, John, uh, can't say Tielemans. He always struggles. So yeah. He yeah. <laughs> yeah. just can't do it. We'll Join him also. then. Yeah, yeah. I think he got Tielemans or something like that. He yes, yeah. 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 Um, Neil wants to know, uh, Chris, what did you think of Steve Bruce's time at Newcastle? Now, be careful how you answer this. <laughs> I'm going to say, this is like, you know, pointing a loaded gun at me, isn't it? Yeah, I mean... yeah. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, the guy loved the club. But at some Did point, he? I'm oh, going to no, put you up on that one straight away. Wasn't he, he a uh, Newcastle no. fan? No, Chris, come on. He's a Man United fan. We all know he is. Yeah. He, 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 that, they were just words he said yeah. that came out his gob when yeah, he took the just... job to try and pacify us. Uh, but anyway, you know. The bye problem bye. is when you take, when you, when in somebody is, uh, goes and signs a new manager, when they are not, the crowd don't take to them straight away. It's always fighting an uphill battle. Now, had he then gone and got you into Europe, won you an FA Cup or anything like that, then you'd have probably accepted him more. But, yeah. you know, he wasn't the guy for the club. Um, you know, from, from the outside looking in, he was an Ashley choice because he was a yes man. You know, he wouldn't sort of, you know... He wouldn't argue for anything up against, you know. If if Ashley said jump, he'd say how high. Um, but that said, he kept you in the in the Premier League. He did. Uh, 
that was down to Joe Willock, though, not Steve Bruce. Yeah, but never mind. Um, <laughs> Andre says, one of my favourite Newcastle memories was yeah, the Shearer yeah, Hadrick yeah, in 96-97 yeah, 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 yeah. against Leicester when you were 3-1 three, three, up. But I, God, I remember that game. One of my know. memories is Alan Shearer treading on uh, Neil Lennon's he didn't head slipped. when he was on the he ground. Slipped. Oh, it's a slip. it was, <laughs> it, if you look at his left foot, Chris, it slipped just, as, yeah, yeah. just before yeah. he connected with Lennon's <laughs> noggin. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll never get David Batty in that game, just come running along and lifting the Lennon off the pitch to get yeah, on with the game. With it, oh, yeah. God. <laughs> hey, yeah, was the day. That's when it was a man's game, wasn't it? Hey? it was yeah, exactly. Because exactly. exactly. there was VAR now, that would have went on for weeks. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Chesri says, respect you, Chris, and your takeover answer. Thank you. Uh, Carl says, how has been brilliant for Newcastle? Full stop. So uh, peck the like button, Magpies. Thank you very much, Tony. Uh, Portuguese, Af- Portuguese Atletico Madrid centre midfield set the sign for Newcastle. Uh, and listen, you've got a whole new team coming in, haven't you? Oh, God almighty, you'd think we, so. Uh, listen, we, we, let's we can, not we, say we can only have 20. Sign. Yeah, we can only have 25 in the thing at the minute. I think we've got 473, so yeah, the, the, I don't know which just, 25 just, just, we could pick up. We could, play, uh, we could play, the, the rumours are, you know, the amount of rumours that are going around about players, we could probably play a start and 11 for the next three years, a different start and 11 <laughs> yes, with yeah. all the players that are coming in. It's it's, it's absolutely bizarre. Um, listen, Chris, thank you for coming on, buddy, uh, and spending an hour with us on the show. Always a laugh, um, always a laugh, be, mate. Thank you for having me. No problem no, at all. Uh, but before you go, we'll get, we are going to need a prediction for you and who's mm-hmm. going to score. Um, you know, I, I think this might be a bit difficult for you, though, that making a prediction on this game because given Leicester's form, no, 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 I will never predict against my team. I know you won't, but I'm saying <laughs> that you know, I, I'm not saying that you know, a loss, but you know, there are leaking goals. Yeah, and and that's why I I never d- predicted we we're going to keep a clean sheet at all this season. You knew we'll get one goal, um, but I honestly think we, we, we <laughs> I'm getting fed up with saying this every week. Doing this with catchphrases, <laughs> but we're hoping that this is the game when it all clicks in and we can you know kick on from this point. Well, we and, said that we said that for 14 games. <laughs> 15 games, whatever it was, before games, we eventually yeah. won this season. Yeah, yeah. Um, if we don't, this is the thing if we don't beat you, the pressure on Rodgers from the fans is just going to be unbearable. Yeah. But I I think we actually will. And no disrespect to you guys, I think we will. And I've, I've gone on, on my predictions for a 3 1 Leicester win. That's fair enough. Uh, and final yeah. question to you is where can I park on Sunday? <laughs> to be honest with you, I don't live in Leicester. Well, I know. So I can't before, say. Well. If you want to park at mine, you can do, but then you're going to have a three-hour journey up from Paul. <laughs> ah, that's a lot. That's too far. <laughs> that's, ah, that's too far. Yeah. Never mind. I'll probably just abandon it in some there is street. A, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of on-street parking. Yeah, um, there is. All, the big car parks around there will probably be taken up, you know, with, with regulars. But there's a lot of uh, on-street parking. Um, mm. But do get there early because it does fill up. Yeah, we're leaving pretty early anyway, so yeah. uh, we'll see. Anyway, Chris, thank you for coming on, no mate. Problem. As usual, it's been a pleasure. Um, Thanks for having me on. Have a safe journey down. I will, I will. No I, hope problem. I hope it's a wasted journey for you. Yeah, well, <laughs> thanks very much, as usual. I, I appreciate your comments, Chris. Listen, you take care, mate. You stay safe. Thank and you, uh, we'll best, Chris. Speak soon, buddy. Well, take Cheers. care. Take care, Bye-bye. mate. So there was Chris, absolutely top man. Um, you know, he's, he's got the he's got the same kind of sarcasm as me, I think, Dave. Which yeah, yeah. Uh, which yeah he's good. Such, I'll, such I'll a like Chris. Lad. He's a good lad. Yeah, he yeah. certainly is. He talks um, well. I, I think the, the the funny side or whatever thing was that he's talking there it, almost the same as we were at the start of the season, and obviously last season. It's it's funny how fans from different clubs when things aren't going very well talking the same thing he's playing in the wrong place he's not good enough we don't know what I mean, we're doing you know, it, you know s- some of the comments we, 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 we're sort of having a, a dig at him for complaining but look look any fan's going to complain when you start oh, losing games absolutely. it's natural you know yeah. even the sort of um you know the top top of the league teams if they start to lose a few games the fans turn and the fans get annoyed and uh, you know that's just part and parcel of the game yeah. um but if we look for you know, the last part of the show, Dave, we look at, as we normally do on these previews, we look at Newcastle United. Uh, Eddie Howe's press conference today. I've done a video on that if everybody so, wants to go and watch that after yeah, the show. Video um, yeah. Thank you. Um, you know, he's, again, sounding very, very positive. Uh, the only two injury doubts are going to be Cher and uh, Fraser, but they are expected to be fit. Yeah. Um, I don't think Fraser would start, but I would assume that maybe Fabian Cher does play. Um mm-hmm. 
but they're the only two injury worries. And uh, it, it was just yeah. so refreshing. I don't know whether you've seen his press conference there. I but, have, uh, yeah, I watched it on uh, NUF TV earlier on. Yeah. Again, really refreshing with what he's got to say. I think the thing, yeah, I agree. I mean, I think he's, he, what he said was sure he, he took a he took a knock, which uh, he, I don't know what it was when he got clattered or whatever it was, but he had sores, but he appears to be all right and a bit of a um, hamstring or groin strain for Fraser, but he seems to think are both going to be okay, which mm-hmm. is good news. So, um, and I, I, I was reading something on Twitter earlier on that a number of players who are suddenly fit all the time now. There's no little niggly injuries. There's no strange in it. And the only one that we're a bit worried about, as you said, and your thing is, is Dummett, who it's looking like the new year now, but he, he seems as if he's on his way back. And, you know, I, I've said before, I think Dummett's one of our best defenders. I think he's a great lad. Um, you know, not the most gifted footballer by any means, but, uh, you know, he, he does what he needs to do. If, if he can't drill out of, out of defence, he knocks into Rose Ed, which is exactly what he should be doing. But I think the, the, the good thing I liked about Eddie Howe's conference, and I, I did see on, on uh put a comment on your video that it's so refreshing to watch somebody yeah. who sits quietly and astutely listening to the comments or the questions from the press people. Uh, you know, everyone, you know, they said, oh, next is whoever it was, my staff author, whoever. And it was, hi, Miles, how are we doing? And then he would shut up and, and look <laughs> intentive, in, intentively and listen. When the, when the question is finished, thanks. And he would give a really good, strong answer. I mean, he, mm-hmm. he doesn't have a go. He doesn't get himself... You know, wound up. He doesn't have a, a go back at them or twist when, you know. I mean, uh, when Lee Ryder came on, he just went, "Hi, how are you doing?" And then he he he, he, he chatted away. So it was really good. Um, I, I love the way he talked about. You know, I, I made a few notes. You know that he um, again very positive. Yeah, I think that the, the comments he made about the cup run were really good. So yeah. he, he enjoys the cup. Uh, he wants to do well in it. So clearly, we're going to. Go for that. I mean, obviously, you know, when is the the cup game? Middle of January, I think, isn't it? So it's a, well, it's normally early January, first yeah, couple of weeks of January, isn't it? So I mean, you know, we might have a couple of players in by then. It was a, I do believe that the the new people are working behind the scenes and, you know, tying up deals. I mean, I hope they are. I'm sure they are. You know, um, so things could could look a lot brighter then, and you know, and a cup run might do us the world of good. And you know, at the end of the day. You know, we we used to love the cup, but I mean, the last fourteen years, we just never bothered with any anything other than the league, because you know, Ashley just wanted to finish seventeenth and get his money. You know, but no, I, I'm very impressed again. I mean, he, um, you know, the thing I, he said last week and he said again this week. Somebody said, "Oh, what about the run you've got?" Like, I don't do runs. I do one game at a time. Yeah, that I was really impressed with that, and yeah, I, I mentioned that said, in my video because yeah, you, did, you know, as, says, a, as a manager, he's not thinking. About how how um, no. how difficult December's going to be, or you know that we're going to struggle or anything like that. He says he's looking at one game at a time. Okay. We yeah. get the Leicester game out the way with, and it will no. simply be focus on Liverpool and move yeah. on after that. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, obviously you know we'll do a preview for Liverpool next week, but that mm-hmm. isn't going to be an easy game. But no. I think with regards to, um, to to this weekend, I mean, do you think you'll make many changes? No, I don't think you will. I mean, it will depend on whether. Shaw is fit. I mean, obviously, he'll assess the fitness of, of everybody tomorrow. Uh, no doubt they'll have a training session uh, either down here. I don't know when they're going down, but either up here or down there. Mm-hmm. See how they all, if people aren't fit, well, he isn't going to risk them because we need everybody, um, you know, fit and, and going. So there's no point in playing somebody who's not fit, uh, you know, or time to run it off. Where we've seen that before and it never worked. Yeah. So, um, I you know I think you will. I mean, I, I would I would love Fernandes to come in in some shape or form. I still think he's better than Lascelles. Although, having said that, Lascelles had a canny game, and I mean, you don't make Alan Shearer's team of the week if you didn't have a good game. You know, so well, he, you know, you know, is 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 how going to work magic like he has on 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 Joe Linton with some other could, players? You know, could, let's could not well forget. Do. You know, if he's improving Joe Linton this much, then maybe. But it's got to be down to the players as well, though. That's the thing. Oh, yeah. Somebody like yeah. Jamal Lascelles, he has to be willing to learn. You know, many times, mm. you know, Eddie Howe's already come out and said that Joe Linton's willingness to learn and yeah. focus on the game. But I, I also like the way Eddie Howe was talking about sort of um, being meticulous with the uh, the stats, you know, mm-hmm. going, you know, after training, you know, sitting down with his coaches, going through 
every single stat, looking at how far the players have run, you know, how many passes, you know, what position were they in at certain times in the game. I mean, that is just something that, you know, clearly our previous manager didn't do, actually admitted to never doing. Yeah, didn't um, do tactics. Yeah. But, but moving forward, that, that has to be something that is really going to stand out to us fans as, as something that is a real positive. Yeah, and and you're absolutely right. And I think the other thing that I liked about his comments like that was that clearly the players will know that he's doing that and he's making sure that he tweaks and changes the game. As you said uh, earlier on the week, uh, it was on fans forums, you, you said about him, he's quite happy to change the way the game is going. He'll, he'll, he'll go to plan B or C or D, whatever, if, if things aren't working for him. Mm. Previous man never did that. He just played the way and he, you know, then he, he made changes in the 73rd minute, you know, and hope that would work. And of course it, it very rarely did. And, and Eddie Howe was that type of man who will say even 20 or 30 minutes and this isn't working, you two swap round, you know, and he's always very animated. And I think that the, the lads I sit next to who said at the, at, at the, at the last game, the Burnley game, he, he never sat down. He was, he was in the technical area, Barking orders out, waving and shouting and mm. encouraging the players. What I like, um, what I like about him, Dave, is when there's a stoppage in play for an injury or whatever, absolutely. the players go he's, for a drink. He's, he's in right in the middle. So is Tyndall, yeah. to be honest. Both yeah, of yeah. them are right in there. Yeah. yeah. Um. You know, just G in the even if Chatting they're not away, sort of up, yeah. hammering mm. a player, he's motivating them, and that's what mm. we need to see. Yeah, I mean, we've been yeah. asked this question many times, Dave. Would you entertain Rafa's DOF? I asked that question on another show um, a couple of weeks ago. A couple of days, I can't remember when time floats. When I don't know. Um, it, a lot of it would depend on whether Eddie Howe would want to work with Rafa and would there be um, two, two big egos. Uh, you know, I, I, I still think that Rafa would want to work, you know, every day, uh, at the sharp end, as it were. Obviously, that's Howe's job and his mm. his coaching team. I don't know. I, the one thing I would say is, if 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 that were to happen, obviously Rafa's little black book of content uh, contacts would be an absolutely amazing thing to get, mm. because he knows people from you know literally all, all over the world. Um, so I I don't know. It, it may work. It may not. I don't. It, it, as I say, it would depend very much on if Eddie Howe said, "Yeah, I'll go for that. I like the mm. guy. Let's do it." You know, but I, I'm I'm unsure. I have to say. Yeah. Um, Ronald says he lives twenty minutes away from Leicester. Couldn't get any away tickets. Didn't fancy the Leicester side. Ronald, if you know where to park, please put it down <laughs> in the comments, mate. Uh, you know, that would be Drop very. Message. Uh, uh, yeah. Definitely. Uh, FA Cup is the seventh of January, Dave. So it's uh, within the first week. Oh, there you go. So I didn't think it was that early, but yeah, thanks for that. Uh, Gary, I'll check that out, matey. Don't worry. Uh, Tony says Liverpool will be a write off. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'll be there, but uh, I don't think it'll go in our favour. Set, set it before. We're daft enough to get a, to get a result. There. Well, you know, well, not, but I mean, you know what I mean? It's Listen, it's, if we can done go before. down there with Jack Colbeck scoring goals, we can, we can go in there and get a result. You know what I mean? <laughs> Absolutely. But they are on fire at the minute. It's, God, it's fair to say. Just, yeah. Um, uh, Mizu says, good luck in the game, lad. Sunderland fan here and just wanted to pop in and wish you the best of luck. That's nice. Thank, thank you, you very much. Yeah. See, it doesn't all have to be nastiness no, between the not. two clubs. No. Thank you very much for that, Mizu. Uh, Ginger says, Paul, the, the Ginter offer might make sense because uh, he can go for free to winter in the summer. I guess. Yeah, I guess. Uh, Yano says, are you guys concerned that changes in the team appear to be being dictated by suspensions and injuries rather than selections for an opponent? Look, I think what's happening is Eddie Howe is still getting to know his team, right, and, and the squad and, and what he's got available to him. Now, I think um, players that get injured or suspended and somebody comes in and does a better job than them or performs better, I think should stay in the team. I think that's just yeah. just normal. That's why I was very surprised to see Fernandez back on the bench last week. However... I think something is more sinister going on behind the scenes with him. So uh, I just, you know, that, that, that's just the way it is. Uh, it, it's it's unfortunate, yeah. but um, the, the, there was a I comment. just don't want to see Clark coming back, Dave. No, no. I mean, it, 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 he was the man for his time in the championship and played very well, been a great servant of the club. But, uh, you know, I think he's uh, he's drifted too far out, you know. There was a comment, I, I, I can't remember where I heard it on somewhere on social media, it said that 
uh, the club are supporting Fernandez through this difficult time. I have no idea what was meant by that, whether that was just idle speculation. I don't know, but you know, we as we said several times, we've no idea what's going on. Uh, you know, behind the scenes, there it could be anything or nothing. I mean, these rumours rumours about him being the mole that caused all the problems for for, for Brucey Boy last year. They seem to be rife at the minute, and and mm. everybody's really sort of commenting on that. Um, so whether they mean that it's a difficult time because obviously he's still getting grief for that from certain players, uh, you, you, you never potentially, know. Potentially, um, and if that's the case, if, you know that that may never well that could never be recovered to be honest. But again, no. But I think if you know if the team sit down and say, look, you know, it was if, if that is the case. And again, we've got to keep saying we've no idea what the issue was. But if that were to be the case, you've then got to say to the team, look how we lads, let's, you know, as you me, we've all said, clean slate, start again, let bygones be bygones and let's be friends again. And that's what they've got to do. And they've got to stand up and say, okay, you'll not do it anymore. You all made a mistake. Close your hands up. Yeah, I screwed up. Sorry, let's put it right. Um, and that's what's got to happen now, in my opinion. If it is that, and it is yeah. we constantly... It's pure speculation. We, absolutely. We've no idea. Yeah. So we've, yeah. we've got to be so careful what we say because yeah. we literally don't know. Definitely. Uh, DJ Joey is not very confident for the Liverpool game. Uh, we could park the bus in the penalty box against Liverpool and probably come away with a 2 0 loss if we're lucky. <laughs> Have some faith. Yeah. Uh, Jade says, absolutely agree. Over time, we'll upgrade areas, but we need players who aren't going to miss months at a time. True. Um, Good evening, Evan. Uh, love this show. Keep it up, lads. Thank you very much. Thanks, Evan. Uh, Thomas says, nice one from Sunderland fan there. I generally think this takeover can rub off positively on all of the clubs in the Northeast. Nice, um, I did. Mm-hmm. We, we'll see. Uh, John says, my father, bless him, lived in both Newcastle and Sunderland and supported both clubs. Ooh, ooh, I don't think you can do that. You happened back in the day, Paul. I know when it I did. A, I know, yeah. When I was a did. kid, people yeah. went to both, you know, a week in, a week out, you know, so... Uh, bring Almiron in for Willock, put him in attacking middle, he'll give more pace going forward. No, nah, he's not a midfielder, definitely yeah. not. No, nah, we, we, so. we need to uh, yeah. apparently Brentford have equalized, which is decent for us. Uh, the fact is, we don't know the truth behind the Fernandez rumors, so our only choice is to trust how to manage the situation in private. Well said, Chesry. Yeah, absolutely, exactly. Right. Um, Eric says, Watford look like they're gonna win, not anymore. <laughs> uh, Neil says that uh, we could loan out Clark, Kraft, and Gale to Sunderland to make sure they're still in League One. <laughs> That's a bit harsh. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Mike says so many players have come out saying the training is much better now, and I can't, I can't see it keeping Fernandez out of the team. Uh, only time will tell. Um, Kare, I hope I spelled, I said your name right there. Good podcast. Greetings from Norway. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you very much. We're Thanks. definitely going worldwide now, Dave. Um, <laughs> Felix is interested in coming in. Uh, Ginger says, uh, I'd rather have Michael Zork from Dortmund. He's a top def- director of football. Um, not heard of him. Sorry. Uh, listen, we, we know that they've hired a separate firm to look for the director of football. And, um, you know, I, I guess, you know, the situation is that they're the, the taking the time because this is the director of football, Dave, looks like it's going to be a, a long term appointment because yeah. they are taking the time with it. Um, yeah. now. I trust Eddie Howe in the January transfer window. It's not for me like, oh, my God, if we don't hire a director of football, we're not going to get a, any decent players in January. I trust no. what Howe's going to do. Um, no. And certainly in the future, if, it, you know, we're going to work, you know, Howe is going to work alongside a director of football, um, you know, and get a good partnership going, then fair enough. Yeah, I agree. And I think that from my own point of view um, and from a business point of view, I would say that chip executive is probably more important at the moment, um, some beat about the bush. We, you know, do we need direct forward? Probably these days we do. We need somebody with that, you know, that contact and that, that ability to uh, seek out good players with with his uh, scouting team. Yeah. Um, but I think a chip exec and a decent one. I mean, you know, Charlie, excuse me, itchy nose. Uh, Charlie, I just never did it by me. I just, I don't know what what they're showing them, but you know, let's not argue about that. That's, that's again that ship is sale. So I think, I think it. it, it to run the business, we need a, a good chip exec. Uh, I know Amanda's doing it now, and, and, and we had that and do, doing a brilliant job. But you know, moving forward, we, we need to get that in place first because at the end of the day, the chip exec was going to do the paperwork to get players over that infamous line we always used to talk about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, director of football can come, and it's as, as you alluded to, it's it's a really difficult and incredibly hard post to fill. 
and we've got to get it right. We, you know, we can't be chopping and changing over the next two years, changing drafts of football because we'll become a Latin stock. It's it's a one-off and a long-term uh, thing. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Jade asked the question, uh, do we think we will see the Ryan Fraser of Bournemouth now pinging balls in from the wing? If so, if so, I don't know if why so I went to a posh there. If so, <laughs> uh, maybe it's because I'm speaking to royalty. I don't know. Well, how, you know well, um, if so, whose place does he take? Do you know, that's uh, that's a really good question. Um, whose place does he pick? I, I don't know at the end of the day. I mean, we could, we could say that um, who? I don't know. Uh, it's a tough one, but you, you, know, you, you look at the only I'm, player to be replaced. I mean, you know, St. Maximan needs to pull his finger out. Um, yeah, he does. He does. You know, he, he, he hasn't I mean, been I too th- great. I think, I think Richie's going to have a, a little bit of a trouble getting back in the side. And I, yes. I love Richie, but he's he's never played in his right place for far too long. He needs mm-hmm. to be much further forward. Uh, you know, pinging those balls in, and you know, but we have that option up now, don't we, for them coming off the bench, the likes of Richie, yeah, yeah we're playing in a yeah. much more forward role. Yeah, so. uh, Paul says, uh, Shame there aren't any French subscribers, seeing as you're virtually fluent. <laughs> Paul, I, uh, I don't know what's the matter with you. Uh, Joe Willock will be dropped for Hayden, that's the rumor. Oh, no, no, I don't um, know. Hayden, Hayden's gone off the boil at the minute, he, I mean, he's very much gone off the boil, yeah, player, yeah, yeah, uh, a couple of years ago, but he's. You know, I, I, like I was, I was saying before, you know, players, you know, do go through spells. You know that, you know, that you you always say that that um, skill never goes, form does. You know, and, and form will always change. You know, yeah. I mean, even even Shearer back in the day went certain games without scoring. We thinking what's going wrong, and then all of a sudden you would you would knock a knock a hat full in, and uh, you know they say the class remains, form varies. Uh, good point here. It might not be something bad with Fernandez. He might have family problems, depression, or something like that. Makes more sense to me as it will be kept on the quiet. People are just guessing, I reckon. Yeah, good and point. that's all. It's yeah, it's speculation. Um, yeah, absolutely. And, and that's all it is. Uh, Brian says, "Hi all. It's my mum's birthday on Monday. She's eighty, so give her a shout out, Ches and everyone. Her name is Janet, and she's much loved by all the family. Cheers, lads. Great show. Uh, happy birthday, Janet." Happy birthday, John, and have a lovely uh, time. 80, yeah. wow, get you. Top job. Yeah. Well done. Have a fantastic day. Yeah. And, uh, you know, wow, getting to the same age as Dave Harrison, that is fantastic work. Just um, so have a fantastic day, Janet. Uh, we all love you. Yeah, Janet, I, I, and I hope Brian spoils you rotten with presents and chocolates and whatever you want. Have yeah, a lovely and day. hope he stays sober. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, Cesare says, Paul and Uncle Dave, can you explain oh, the workings of the firm behind Hired, hired, hired to Get? the director of football. I didn't know that was a thing. So this is interesting. What else can these firms be hired for? Um, Anything. Assassinations, um, you know, you're getting out of jail, all those type of things, I would assume. Uh, yeah. You never know, Cesare. Obviously, I think they're just a recruitment firm, aren't they? Yeah, there, there are some very big, high-profile recruitment firms up and down the country um, who will even look to hire people from virtually anywhere in the world to do any particular job. Uh, a lot of them are absolutely amazing. I mean, they charge a lot of money, uh, but if they get the right people, then but not that we need it. Not that we worry about that. But yeah, there, there's lots of them out there. Uh, there's even ones in Newcastle, obviously much smaller ones. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah, there's, there's some massive ones in London. I, I know one of them I used to do work with with Archery, and uh, yeah, they they they'll source people for any job from anywhere in the world. Mm. Uh, Luke says, "What about Peter Kenyon for director of football?" I think he's. I, th- I think. I think he's. Uh, uh, no, I can't see him getting not, back not, in the football. Not for to be me. Honest. Not for me. No. Um, who do you think we will sign? Well, there's an open question. Um, let's not. Uh, I I, don't know. I'm not even going to speculate. There's that many. I mean, there's dozens, Jamie. Literally dozens. Uh, yeah, Fraser was in the starting lineup against Norwich. Unfortunately, only played eight minutes. Uh, mm-hmm. And then, you know, after that, he was uh, he was left out. That was uh, a shame Trolls, for the lad. Uh, Muppet names for Paul and Dave. Paul Grumpster and Dave H. Cozy Gramp. Joke, of course. <laughs> I like it, Trolls. <laughs> you guys' sense of humour bewilders me sometimes out there. It really does. Got to laugh uh, at it, though. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. Uh, Andre says, how many points would you be happy with out of December fixtures? I'd take four. Listen, I, I think, Dave, any point that we could possibly get yeah. in December is a bonus. Any point. 
Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I was on, I, I went on a load of show the other day with the lads asked me. Oh, oh, you were gallivanting again? Uh, well, you know, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm in high demand. It's not in your I've contract, got, Harrison. I've got, I've got no idea why, but never mind. Uh, it's um, not in your contract I, to go channel jumping. I know, and I said between four and seven would be amazing. But you're right, I mean, anything we can pick up is going to be good. And But I, I think it's, it's not about us getting points. It's about us not getting cut adrift from those around us so we can stay in touch with them get a couple of four good signs in in january and then push on from there but uh, it, it's more about staying in touch with those you know from sort of 16th down over for me mm-hmm. uh who do you think is on the way out of the club well i've done uh uh, uh mm-hmm. funny enough to nelly i've done a video on that so if you want to go and watch that after yeah, the did. show mm-hmm. uh and see what you think of that um, I'm sure when we last went to the KP Stadium, we parked up at Leicester Tigers and walked up. Right. There, I'll remember that. Uh as long as it's not too far. You know, I, 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 I don't I don't know Leicester that well. I've been a few times. Not yeah. not on the football for from Archery. But uh yeah, I, I don't know it that well. Uh Luke says, did Mr. Ireland get back to Dublin? He did eventually, he did, yeah. He did eventually. Um Ginger says, Paul, a director of football, they find players in positions they want and they find the best players for that is not the manager picks player, uh, is a trust that the uh, POF can find the talent. I mean, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll talk about a director of football, I guess, when we get one. I yeah. uh, wouldn't be surprised if we got a point against Manchester City. Uh, City and Liverpool are free hits. Uh, reckon we put the final nail in Rafa's coffin. Oh, can you imagine? Oh, that would... Yeah, I mean, that would wow. go down like a lead balloon, wouldn't it? But uh, I mean, if that's well, what it is, it is. Struggling, I mean, man, he's struggling. I mean, if it, if it meant Rafa getting sacked, then I'm sorry. I'd love to beat yeah. Everton, but that, that's that's the way it goes. I just want us to win. I don't care who who it's against. Yeah, and, I uh, mean, let's face it. Rafa is manager of Everton Football Club. He's not nothing to do with Newcastle. No, he'd be looking not. to beat us, just like we'd be yeah, looking to beat absolutely. them. Yeah, he'd, he'd be the same as us. He wants to beat any side, including us, as we do. Exactly. Uh, else, Darren so. says Robert Lee said Alan Shearer deserves a higher role at the club. What's your take on it? I heard rumours today that he was being set up for director of football as well. I, I, really? I, I hadn't heard that. No. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I think that's a bit far fetched. I, I cannot really I, say that. I mean, I, I, I think most and most Newcastle fans would love to see Shearer in some sort of role with the club, whether it's an ambassadorial role or even as far as I hadn't heard the thing about direct football. But yeah. we, we've got to remember he's got a, a quite a long term contract with the BBC uh, for much of the day and, and other things. So that would be difficult, I think. But I mean, would you take him as DOF? Probably, I don't. Uh, well, I mean, he's got good contacts, hasn't he? I mean, yeah, that's what we need to look at, yeah. and, and I think he did a good job. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, and it, 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 he's a legend at the club, exactly. so yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Alex, good evening uh, in the Isle of Man. Pretty late, but hope everyone is well. Going for a 2 2 tomorrow. Uh, it's Sunday, mate. <laughs> I know it keeps <laughs> tripping me up it's, as well. It's, I have to it's say, not, it's not quite midnight, so you're all right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Brent, still... Brentford have a penalty, apparently. Oh, wow. Uh, Chesri says, uh, Paul, please don't skip this in message. Of course I want Chesri. Mrs. Janet, are you ready for this, Brian? Are you ready? Mrs. Janet Johnson, happy birthday, mom. Uh, wishing you lots of love to you on this special day from your Geordie family all over the world. Well said, Chesri. There you go. <laughs> Absolutely. There spot you on. go. Spot on. Uh, I hope the kids are better next season than these tops. I, I, I hate the tops this season. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm going to have a little bit of a rant about Castoria here, right? Um, yes. A rant. <laughs> now it's all right for 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 the small people in the world. You know, the four foot five people like Dave Harrison, right? Who can actually fit into the shirts? All right. Just... But I'm six foot five, guys. Right? I'm a, I'm a tall lad. I'm you know I I, I have a bit round the waist as well. No, you don't. Uh, which no. I'd like. To, well, you just need to be seven foot two, Paul. Uh, whatever. <laughs> um, you know and. Uh, the tops are very small fitting. I, I mean, you know, I was I was having this conversation on Twitter with a couple of fans today about it. You know, they, they're very unhappy at the fitting as well. You know, they are people are having to go two sizes up from what they normally are to get a comfortable fit. I, I did. I must admit, when I, I got my, um, what do they call it? The the classic one, uh, you know, the new one, but without mm-hmm. the, the branding on and, I I picked a two XL. I'm, I'm normally an L or an XL because I, I remember what you had said, and I got a two XL. And I'm a bit worried if, if I put a few layers underneath it, and you know when the winter's bad, 
I'm not sure I'll get it on, on top of everything else, you know. So, but yeah, you've, you've got to get one at least two sizes bigger than you'd normally get. That's for sure. Yeah. I, I, and they just don't cater for the tall. They no. just do not. I mean, no. I've got a nice, I mean, you've, you've seen the, the, the NUFC hoodie I've got. I mean, that, mm-hmm. that is a, that's, they're a good fitting. That. They're nice fitting. Nice. It's quite thick as well, isn't it? Yeah, you it want, is. Which is good. I mean, some of the hoodies are like, you know, like paper, but that one looked really good. Yeah, it, it is. And, and you know, it was reasonably priced as well. It was only 40 mm. quid. Uh, and, and, you know, but you look at the, the, the replica shirts, they're just terrible. They, they are yeah. terrible. And I, I, I bought I, a, um, sorry, Dave, I bought a, um, in the sale the other week, I bought like a, just a normal sort of uh, T-shirt, you know, it was sort of grey T-shirt with the gold mm-hmm. on and the Newcastle badge on. Uh, and it's, it's, it's terrible. Mm-hmm. It's a horrible, thin material. Yeah. And, you know, it's just, it's not nice. And I think Castori, if they're going to continue... We, we got again. Provide, they've got work to do. They've got to mm-hmm. up the game. See, I, I, I always thought, looking at other people from other clubs, saying that you know who do you know, had cast story, they all said it's great stuff. It's it's really high quality. It's reasonably priced. Well, a I don't think it's reasonably priced because I went the shot the first time for probably ten years because mm. I just refused to buy anything. And I, and I, you know I've said before I've got a fundamental issue with uh, with betting companies, and that's a, another story for another day. But um, and I, I, I call it, okay. I don't think it's really good. I mean, as you know, I've got quite a few of the older shirts, you know, going back to the 1920s. And uh, they're much thicker, um, much better fitting, uh, you know, than, than, than the modern ones. But talking to a couple of mates of mine who follow other football teams, uh, they say it's it's a, it's about par for the course. You know, so once again, the fans being ripped off with expensive, I won't say tat because that's unfair, but... You know, it's not the quality you expect. It's sort of Primark rather than Marks and Spencers. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, uh, Luke says Mickey Quinn is director of football. Love that guy. Yeah, he's well, a good player, isn't he? I love him. Yeah. Um, Brian says thank you so much. It means the world to me, and it will to her. Well, there you go, Brian. No yeah, problem Brian. at all, matey. Um, Come on. Only doing it because you're a gentleman. Yes, uh, Thomas says uh, Shearer is not just at the BBC. He's also with the Athletic. Oh, so yeah. several contracts needed to be dealt with to get him. Um, Paul says, I want Shearer to stay on match of the day so he can look smug when we start winning things again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like uh, Seth, yeah. Seth says, I thought you were six foot ten. Oh, oh. God, there we go. <laughs> uh, Dave says, Evening, Paul, love the channel. Uh, I'm the current president of the Stoke Street Gregory in Somerset, uh, Newcastle United Supporters Club. It has three members myself, my son, and my grandson. Good luck, <laughs> lads, versus Leicester. Uh, listen, uh, anybody in Somerset watching, get in touch with Dave, yeah. uh, and, and let's get let's, let's get, get this uh, get, support get the club up a little Absolutely, bit. Yeah, yeah, three yeah. members is a little bit poor. Um, it's, it's good, so, though. It's good. <laughs> but yes, yeah. it, needs, it needs a few more. Yeah, exactly. Uh, right. Um, let's have a look. Oh, trolls. Six foot five and angry. Best keep our distance than talk. Yeah? <laughs> Jesus, wept. I'm not an angry man. No, you're uh, not. With certain people, I am. <clears throat> trolls. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to see Adidas back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adidas. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah they were definitely. they were much better. Absolutely, without a doubt. Um, Darren says I have a slight weight problem due to steroids medication. I always have problems finding shirts to wear, especially NUFC. Uh, my Parkinson's medication puts weight on me. It's it's yeah. That's just unfortunately the way it is. But you know, let's. I don't think a lot of people, a lot of these companies cater for people who are either tall or or or, or larger than life, shall we say? Yeah. Um, and that can be, as you say, from from any reason at all. Yeah, I mean, I, it's a fair point as well because obviously, you know, my involvement at the top end of archery for a good number of years. Yeah. And, you know, during the Olympics, we were given tops. And I, I just said, to, you know, the whole board were and those who were going to be at the various events, uh, you know, the games and during the games. And I was struggling to get into that. And I said to the, you know, one of the guys, you know, we're not all athletes here. You know, some of us are old and, you know, yeah. gotta carry I a mean, bit of weight, you know. You I know. mean, yes, the athletes are all, you know, racing snakes, but us, us, well, yeah, we're, we're, so. we're not like the bloody, uh, you know, someone like, you know, we're not like the footballers. You know, we're no. fans. We're, we're not yeah. built like the footballers. Yeah. Some yeah. are. Uh, Joshua yeah. says, uh, Newcastle fan from Oxford, since I can remember. Loving the channel and the team. Let's get three points against Leicester. Uh, yeah, Jezre, I'll read this out. But next time, if I do ever come face to face with you in South Africa, I'm throwing you to the damn Sharks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now 2021, Paul's greatest hits with classics as I'm six foot five, 
I've got man flu, but you never hear me complaining. Cody, 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 and includes a bonus track, your cheeky git, available at fine stores. <laughs> nice one, mate. Nice that's one. I, I, that's got me laughing. That's uh, yeah, I good one, Cesare, buddy. <laughs> uh, uh, food has put weight on me, so I have no excuses. I'm just fat. <laughs> Uh, Chesri, uh, listen, mate, you've got me laughing with that. No, one. it was good, wasn't that, Chesri? Uh, well somebody said, wants Polly. to come and say hello. Come. come here. Up. Up. Come on. Come on. Come on, you dozy sword. Come on. <laughs> Up. There you are. Right, can you get on camera? There, come here. Come here. She wears it. Oh, there she is, look. Oh, bless. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the rotty anymore. Oh, no. No, uh, he was attacking Elsie. Um, oh, well, not bless. attacking, but just constantly on her, and he, he, it was unfair to her. Um, oh, but he's, he's gone to a lovely, lovely home, so uh, uh, he's gone down to live in Lancashire uh, with an absolute adorable family who who uh, who spent a lot of time here the other day. And, uh, oh, that's good. Keeps sending. But it's just one of them things, you know, oh, Elsie's yeah. my... She's my assistant's dog. She's my best mate. You know, she's yeah. just, uh, she's everything, you know. She's, and the, the, the Rocky was going to be a big lad, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Um, but, you know, she comes first, unfortunately. She's been yeah, in the family nearly three yeah. years now. And uh, uh -huh. she's uh, she's kind of my assistant's dog. Knows when my blood sugar goes low. Yeah. Um, goes and gets me needles if I need them. All sorts of stuff. So that, that, that's just what dogs are like, really. Yeah. Uh, Yano says, uh, for my weight, I should be seven foot six. <laughs> Jesus, yeah, you're a wrestler now. Um, let's have a look. Uh, Andre says, uh, I like these preview shows a lot, especially with having Dave on board, different generation and knows his stuff. I do miss the mass rea match reaction videos, though, straight after the game. I know, but if I'm at the game, I can't do can't them. Do it's, it, yeah. it's, you yeah. know. Um, That's you know, kind of see, Andre. Thank you. There will be a lot more watch-alongs as well coming. Um, it, certainly... Uh, Everton away will be a watch along. Uh, Southampton away, there will be a watch along for that as well. Uh, so do tune in for them because I've got a new scoreboard and everything, Dave. You know, I know um, it's all very far. Uh, no, no, it's, it, it's a better scoreboard than I had on the other watch along. No, it's having, it's but, new and improved, Dave. New and improved. See, um, but, no expense bed, definitely not. Uh, dogs are brilliant, a huge part of the family, indeed, they are. Um, and I think it was a fair thing to do for for, for Enzo the Rotty as well, you know, because I couldn't, you know, he, he was getting, I couldn't give the attention that he needed no, with Elsie here, yeah. you know, yeah. and, uh, you know, it just, it was one of them things, but. Uh, yeah. Sad, was, but the best thing to do, Paul. Yeah, I had to do the best thing by the dog as well. And I yeah, think, it, uh, you right. know, I have yeah. done the right, everybody's told me I've done the right thing anyway. Yeah, so no, 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 that's no that's what counts. Uh, and she's me little. You know, she's me shadow as Elsie. She's uh, yes. Yeah. She goes. At least I didn't have as didn't have as much fun getting the grandson to wave at you. So, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> God, honestly, normally she'll jump up straight away, and like if uh, I say give us a cuddle, she puts her paws over my shoulders. But never mind. Uh, Norvik says uh, three points against Leicester. Nothing. Liverpool. Man City. Three points. Man U. Three points. Everton. And three points. Southampton. Bloody Nora. I go for that, mate. Absolutely have you been drinking Norvik tonight by any chance? Drinking that old Scandinavian sweet stuff. I think um, I might do a Keegan on that, mind. Yeah. According to El Nacional, we are now looking at Depay for 30 million euros. <sighs> He's playing well for Barcelona. He's the only shining yeah, light, I think, at Barca at the minute. But I think, I mean, I, I think that the thing with Barca players is because we know they're in a mess financially and didn't qualify and everything else. And it's natural for press and agents, especially. Yeah. to be touting their players around. So, you know, as, as you rightly said before, we, you know, if, if we took all the people who would be linked with, we would probably, you know, have a, a different, completely different start line. Especially, how rich, especially how rich we are as well. Well, this is it, yeah. Uh, the, we're you not know, that the, rich, the, you know. I mean, I just, no, no, we're not. 350 billion or so. Yeah, it's... but they won't spend all that on us. Well, not, not yeah. this year anyway. Yeah, true. Um Great show, lads. Love the interaction with supporters from other clubs. Keep it up. Cheers, Neil. Cheers, Neil. Uh, Martian leader. <laughs> oh, what is it? What is it? That Star Trek? Oh, I can't do Star Trek. <laughs> Jesus, how do you do that? Um, <laughs> watched a few of your vids. I've subbed now. Uh, thank you and keep it up, Toonami. Thank you very much. Cheers, uh, really it's appreciate that. Um, already dead says, if Newcastle win 3-0 tomorrow, they are 17th. Wow. 
Look at that. Seven. Oh, Guys, can I just make a point? It's not tomorrow. Please don't. If don't. you're going to Leicester, don't, don't go tomorrow. Don't drive Please. down tomorrow. You'll eat, because you'll eat if you drive hotel. down tomorrow, you will you will have a long wait for the match to kick off. So, <laughs> um, Susan has uh, appeared. Uh, she's camera shy like her mum. <laughs> yeah, very funny. Yeah. Um, by the way, uh, I have a new uh, ending to the show tonight. Um, oh. A new a, a new outro which uh, Susan has done herself. So um, I'll give her a shout out for that. Just so um, she's very good at these things, man. Oh, she's, say, Susan, she's, she's brilliant. brilliant. Yeah, yeah, well new done. logo, all sorts of stuff. Dave. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, right. I, I, uh, I like the, oh, that one. I like the new, which way is it that way? I like the new logo. It's really good. Uh, I love it. I mean, I, I didn't even know she was doing it. Um, no, 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 I just like the how we the lads, the mag. Well, it's not there at the minute because she's actually redesigned it. I need to change that. Uh, it's now got a magpie there, and the blue star's kind of more in coherence with the way the badge goes. So it's uh, oh, it's- it, it is really good. Um, uh, Shanio says, I have a few Aussie mates that wouldn't mind doing a pod with you, Paul. Drop us a message on uh, Twitter, mate, and um, we'll get that sorted definitely. Um, I've got an uncle lives out in Brisbane, um, and mm-hmm. three uh, three cousins, um. But unfortunately, they're uh, it's Mackhams because uh, they're on the mum's side. But, uh, you know, I'd love to get out there one day. Um, Norvix says, uh, wonder what the odds are for a daft bed. Best to do it when I'm drunk. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, what we've got can keep us up if they believe. God, Brian's positive tonight, isn't he? Uh, Jason, yeah. good evening, buddy. He's going for a 3 2 win. Um, Mike says the parking might be easy if you turn up a day early. That's a good point. <laughs> That's right, uh, yes. Apparently, parking at Leicester is six pound ten. Oh. Screw you, chippers. <laughs> uh, could some Norwegian players be good for Newcastle? Maybe Sander Burge or someone else. I hope we beat Leicester. You're not the only one, pal. Uh, yeah. Paul says speed. Uh, speed. Paul drives. He probably will be early. Let, oh, you know. You don't drive uh, that fast, do you? Six point ten hours early. Says uh, Devon. Started, Paul. It started. Yeah. yeah, Mike, and he can make a show on camping in the car in Leicester. <laughs> Uh, Right, we have come to the end of this uh, preview show. Um, As usual, we will end it on predictions, Dave. Um, Now, now beware that when we do the, you know, the fan forum on Tuesday. um, Yes, it may come back to bite me. It may come back to bite you, so we have to be careful. We have, um, as ever, I've gone head and heart, and I've got it written down. Heart says 3-2. And I've put ASM, Wilson, and... J7 uh, to, to do the I don't care who scores for them, probably Vardy. Um, but that's what I've gone for. Me, me head says two all. Uh, I, I would, to be honest with you, I, I would take a draw now. But oh, hell yeah. I I just think that after the, that midweek game where they were battered, I mean, they did well to come back. There's no doubt they've had a long flight. Um, I don't think they'll be up for it. And we've had a a good rest and so I'll ask him what on the back of a, a massive uh uh you know euphoric wave and I just think we'll be better than them. We'll get around the back of them and you know get them crosses in. Uh, I, I I definitely think we'll win. I'll probably completely wrong. We'll probably get battered four one but no I, I I think you know a sneaky win or or a good draw. So uh, three, betting, I'm going. I'm going for three two. Definitely that that's good. my prediction. Three two. Uh betting is six to ten on the two <laughs> winning two one. Uh, Andre's going 2-1, 3-2 to Eddie Skunks, uh, 3-1 to the tune. Uh, great show, lads, big brother, Uncle Dave, and all you awesome subscribers. <laughs> yes, Chesri. My brother, yes. <laughs> Good lad, Chesri. Um, 3-2 to the tune, says Jade. Uh, Joe Linton, Wilson, and Mankeo. Mankeo, that's 3-2, a good says MG Vlog. DJ Joey, uh, 2-1 Newcastle. Tangy's going for a 3-1 win to the tune. Mike says 2-1 tune. Uh, Janos is a uh, tune win of a sta- No! No! no. <laughs> uh, Seth's been very optimistic, 5 0. Uh, I don't know whether that's actually. Uh, no, he, he commented before, so he is one Newcastle yeah. to win. I think that's slightly optimistic. Chesra is going 2 1 to tune. Jolin- <laughs> 2 1 to the tune, but Jolin to score three. score three. How does that work, Chesra? Well, in an <laughs> oh, he's going like, to uh, score yeah. all the goal, is he? Okay. Uh, I always say 2 1 the tune, same for this weekend. Oh, no, Jason says 3 2. With how Tyndall and Jones getting the goals. <laughs> Interesting. Uh 2-1 Wilson double. Uh Newcastle Ford uh nil. Joel yeah, Linton Hatrick. Uh mm. I haven't seen one person say we're gonna lose this game. Uh mm. you never know. Maybe they'll get a silly red card instead of us for a change. Uh most seem to be saying two one. Yeah. Uh keep up the great work, Paul. Thanks, buddy. 
1 uh, 0 Newcastle. Uh, Trill says, Great show as always. Keep up the good work. And man flew Cody and have a great night. <laughs> uh, Chip, this is going for Leicester 6, Newcastle 10. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, You're going to get wrong. Sam. I want two to win, but I predict one one. I'll, I'll take a point. Yeah. Three 0 win with another clean sheet. Uh, Darren says, "Fantastic show, lads. Keep up the good work. See you later." Um, don't laugh at him, Jade, because it just it just makes him do silly things. Um, <laughs> but you know, I like coffee. Uh, Seven one to the tune. Uh, Robert says two one for the tunes. Um, you know what it is? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, we can only hope it's going to be a win, Dave. Because I, I mean, yes. I'm, I'm quite optimistic. Um, hopefully, the game still goes ahead. But like, like we said earlier, hopefully, uh, we'll get to know about that tomorrow. Um, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. You're right. I think if if things are going to change, I mean, we we have to know latest. I would I would argue lunchtime tomorrow to be fair to everybody. Because I mean, th- th- there could be some people traveling down tomorrow uh, to stay over overnight and then make a day of it and come back. Uh, you know they, they've got to be able not not to travel, uh, but on the way things go, it, it'll be called off at half past nine on Sunday morning, and then everybody well, that'll be, be a there. Because uh, I'll, oh, I'll be halfway down the country by then. The, the, and the thing is, it's happened before, Paul. I mean, you know, things have been called off an hour or two before a game, mm. and it's absolutely appalling. Especially when I mean, how, how long did you see it again? Was it a four-hour run it, down there? No, Leicester. It's only Midlands, know. Dave. At, at East, East, long... East Midlands, man. It's a while since I've been, and I went by train, so you know. Two and a bit hours, mate. Two and a oh, bit hours. Well, for yeah, for me, so, driving anyway. I'll yeah, probably two, come back with another bit. speeding ticket, but you know. Oh no, be careful now. <laughs> you only get to do one course, you know. The next one. You uh, get no, I know, I know. Yeah. Shit, I haven't replied to that yet. You better get it. Done. I might have missed it. I might oh, have to no. pay me fine and ticket in points, but never mind. That's just, sh- sh- shit happens. Right. Uh, that is the end of the show. Uh, thank you very much to everybody that's contributed tonight in the comments. Thank you again to Chris from Leicester Till I Die TV on YouTube uh, for coming on and having a good crack with us. Uh, do go and subscribe to him if you like your football. Um, did, did you give your prediction? No, I didn't. <laughs> do you know? I do apologise. Can I, I get didn't. the staff chat? Can you? Can I get uh, the staff? I am going three one two. Simple as that. Simple Good as man. that. Wilson Good two man. goals, and I do think John Joe's due a goal, so I think he's going to get one as yeah, well. So yeah, uh, time will tell on that one. Uh, we will wait and see. But uh, like I say, thank you everybody for joining in the show in the chat. Uh, as usual, it's been brilliant. Uh, great viewing figures again, which is fantastic. So if you have enjoyed the show, guys, please do uh, hit the like button for us. Help us to continue to build the channel. And uh, if you're new, uh, please do consider subscribing as well on the way to 7,000 and then beyond. Keep it going and uh, we'll see where we end up with this channel. But it's just a big, big family on here, um, as usual. uh, And and that's what it's all about for me. So uh, thank you to everybody that has subscribed uh, recently as well. So uh, just a huge, big cuddle to you all. Um, But uh, show's coming up on the channel. Well, uh, Sunday I'm away down in Leicester, so there'll not be an immediate reaction or I could pull into a service station on the way back and do it then, uh, which I probably will, to be honest. Uh, so yeah. there'll probably be a match reaction on Thursday. Um, Trolls, thank you very much for the 50 kroner super chat, mate. He just oh, thrown in there at the end. Um, I might I might, I might, do a reaction uh, because I can connect my laptop to my phone and do it that way. So I'll, I'll probably do it that way. Um, also, on uh, Monday, it is the four horsemen of the tune over on uh, World of Sport TV on YouTube. Uh, just rem- just remind yourselves, it's not going to be on um, the Tune Review. It'll be on World of Sport TV. Yeah. Tuesday night, we have a very, very special night. Um, seven o'clock, we have uh, a special show with uh, Newcastle legend Warren Barton, um, which Dave, uh, we're both very excited for, absolutely to be honest. Excited, yeah. uh, but Dave is having a true fanboy moment about oh, this. Absolutely. Um, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah, he's uh, he's not missing it for anything, no. uh, even no. archery. So that just no, says, yes, what it... I'm, I'm not going to archery so I can be on and talk to Warren. God, exactly. Can't wait. So it, it's going to be a brilliant show. Then at 8 30 on Tuesday night, we also have the fan forum. forum yeah. Uh, so me and Dave basically sitting with the headset on for, for quite a few hours on Tuesday night, but we're, we're, we're thoroughly looking forward to it absolutely because it's yeah. great getting everybody on the fan forum as well and having a good crack on there as well. Um, and on uh, where are we Tuesday night? Wednesday night, we have the preview for the Liverpool game, Dave. Of course, um, yes. yeah, well, which I am heading to on Thursday. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, we'll get a result down there. But you know, mm-hmm. 
that's a big ask. But we will be back what, on third on what, Wednesday. We're daft enough to get a point down there, Paul. It's just the way well, it is. I know. So. So we've got What's a busy up? couple of days, Mr. Harrison. We uh, certainly have. Looking forward but, to it. Uh, that's what it's all about. Uh, hopefully yep. entertaining everybody and having a good laugh with everybody in the comments. Uh, yeah. But please do enjoy my new outro, which uh, was done by Susan, uh, who is now taking over as technical director for the Toon Review. Um, <laughs> a cracking job as well. Yes, she is. Uh, but thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Have a cracking weekend, whatever you're doing. How are the Toon and how are Lewis Hamilton? Bring it home. <laughs> good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Take care. Yeah.